before we uh, actually talk about this uh, latest entry, check this out. This is Lear. <laughs> Grab it. That's so funny. That is funny. That is funny. You're done. All right. <clears throat> you were wondering how I, how I edited that video. Nope. I did not edit that video in any way. I made that video through the TikTok app itself. All right. It's the app's latest feature. It's called Stitch. That's what we're going to talk about. So keep on watching. All right. Compared to um, Duet and React, Stitch is, well, for me, it's considerably better. It's a considerably better feature. Why? Because you get to, you actually get to edit two videos. One, of course, the, um, the one you chose to put it in a Stitch. And of course, and the second, your own. In which you're going to record right there and then. Okay. Kumaga. You don't have to. You don't have to think. Going like this. Or going like that. <laughs> the way I did it is. I actually saw the video first. Then gave my reaction. Right. It's like. Um, what you call this? It's a surprise reaction. Unlike in. React or do it. You already see what the other person, how the other person is going to react. In Stitch, nope. They won't see your reaction until until the actual reaction comes out. <laughs> it's more fun, right? So TikTok, kudos to you guys for another great feature, especially in this time, uh, in these in these trying times, right? You gave a, um, uh, you gave us users a uh, good enough feature. You gave us a, a good enough feature to well to play around with. In order for us to not die of boredom, right? Because well, if the if the SARS-CoV-2 virus doesn't kill us, boredom will. So thank you TikTok for that feature. Let's go. Um, Deviate muna tayo sa mga usual na discussions natin when it comes to the diaries. I want to talk about this. Alright? FPJs ang probinsyano. Alright? I'm a, I'm a fan of the show. Kaya meron ako t-shirt dito eh. Now, as you all know, all shows of major TV networks have, have stopped due to COVID-19. What they're showing now are reruns of their past shows. Okay? Provinciano is one of them. Sa ABS-CBN to. Pero no first week ng, I think first week of the lockdown, I think, yeah, first few days of the lockdown, nakapagpakita ng new, but by second week, wala na. It's all reruns. Okay? It's been replaced by by reruns of their former shows. <sighs> Excuse me. Now, here's my theory on it. Here's my theory on how uh, on how Provinciano will return. Okay, it's been almost two months. My theory is this: Provinciano will end in well one month after President Duterte lifts the lockdown. Why? Kasi, well, almost two months ka nang hindi nagpapakita ng original, ng new episodes. It's a daily show. Okay? What's Coco Martin to do? He's not, not only is he, is he the lead star, he is also one of the executive producers. What's Coco Martin and his executive producer team to do? Um, mapuputo ng storya. Dalam bang naputo ng storya? So, well, people won't People won't remember the last episode na. 
So, if I were in Coco Martin's shoes, I would, I would end the show now. I would uh, continue to produce episodes for the show, pero for one month na lang. For me, it's pointless na. And if you're a jodran na story, it's dragging na. So that that's it's a theory, right? It's it's just that Provinciano will end one month after the lockdown is lifted. Okay. Unless Coco Martin has a uh, has has some more twists up his sleeve, and his creative team, okay. Kumain ba kami na pa sila mga twist na hindi pa nila hindi pa nila na explore o meron pa silang alas na hindi pa nila na, na, na hindi pa nila nilalabas. As soon as the lockdown is lifted, they have to ano na they have to they have to throw their aces na out. They have to throw out their aces na. All right? Just for their ratings to recover kasi wala eh. I think no one is watching TV right now because of reruns. Now, if you have if you have opinions regarding what I just said, comment below. Okay, I'll be well. I'll be I'll be more than welcome to to answer them as long as it's not uh well. You know how you know how I operate when it comes to comments. If I think your comment is BS, you won't hear anything from me. Or that you won't see your comment again. Ganon lang ako. Okay, kaliwa na gan tayo. So, again, that's my theory. Provinciano will have its last several weeks after the lockdown has been lifted. Right? Let's talk about that. Um, the one by Roberto Blake about being uh, about meet and greets. Okay, <clears throat> being an being an anime fan and a uh, and a con goer. You know, regular attendee kasi ako minsan mga anime events. I would hear that term uh, very often when it comes to celebrity cosplayers and well. Mainstream celebrities meet and greet. Now, there's nothing wrong with the meet and greet. You get to if you're the celebrity or the um, the famous cosplayer, if you're a celebrity for that matter. There's nothing wrong because well, you get to you get babies. All right, if if kumi kumi anak sila, kiss their but there is a disadvantage. It's a security risk, right? You're prone to stalkers. Okay, you are prone to stalkers and mostly bashers. I would strongly suggest, um, if I were the, if I were the celebrity, if I were the, uh, the famous cosplayer, and an events organizer told me that, uh, uh, that is inviting me to to appear in their event for a boot slot. Why? Because well, a, the space provided boot slot is okay. Kapag hindi usually usually kasi pag hindi ka ticket holder hindi ka makakapasok sa mismong events place where the boot are where all of the boots are now if you're a celebrity you, you should yeah for your security you event organizer for a free boot slot don't mind don't mind the pay think of your own security and your own health remember remember we're on quarantine right a lockdown tayo ngayon because COVID-19 that's the biggest lesson you should if you're a celebrity or a or a uh, or an influencer if someone is new to an event ask for a boot slot a free boot slot 
because that's much because it's a much better place for a meet and greet kasi kung usually pag regular meet and greet lang walang harang sa harap so in theory social distancing is not observed pag walang harang okay ang pinakaharang mo lang yung carpeting lang eh but if, if you have a booth ako nagbo-booth din ako nung araw eh so I feel secure if you have a, if you have your own booth you can do your meet and greets there and it filters your audience kasi regular t- kasi reg- ticket, regular ticket holder ang mag meet and greet of being uh, a big okay, I know I've been an exhibitor twice to some anime events now okay. so that's my that's my suggestion to uh, celebrities and famous cosplayers don't go from greet right away ask the organizer if they can give you a free boot there okay a booth is more secure than a meet and greet spot. Remember that, guys. Courage is infectious. I totally agree. All right now, I'm not expecting everybody to do the same because, well, most people here always uh, most people here always leave their balls at home. Okay. Only a few, only a few, there are only a few real men out here. I'm not carrying my own chair, but I am one of them. Because I have the courage to stand up to those who will, stand up to those who would want to abuse these, uh, to abuse this crisis for their own gain, or to do some power tripping of their own. <clears throat> Courage is infectious. If one stands up, the rest can follow. That's basically the concept of. Uh, that's uh, that's the basic concept of well, of revolts, revolutions, or simple uh, or simple unrest, positive unrest. All right, not the negative type. <clears throat> so if you have courage, right? So if you have courage, don't be afraid to show it. Okay, matakot na ipakita nyo. Stand up to being a citizen of your country. Stand up to being a human being. All the time. So yeah, courage is infectious. Brian Rose, thank you for inspiring this entry. I just had an, another um, debacle with uh, a live streaming software called Camera File Live. Okay, <clears throat> I experimented with uh, another live stream app. So tinagal ko muna yung Streamlabs ko to try another app. Yung nga, Camera File Live. <clears throat> Mayroon na kala ko. Uh, Vertical screen is vertical screen because the phone tab diaries require it. Kailan ako vertical screen ako. So when the stream ended, uh, chinek ko kahapon. Was able to check the orientation of the video. It's 16 by 9. So I was, uh, well, I was like this. Like that. Naging horizontal yung orientation so nakatabingi nakatabingi yung mukha ko. Now I got, I got disappointed, okay? Then I looked at the settings of Camera Fi Live. There there's actually no settings for 9 by 16. Okay? So talagang puro horizontal video lang ang kaya niya. I let the review. Uh, I let the review just a few minutes ago. I said, "Well, 
I said to him, basically, you ruined my live stream. So, yep. Uh, well, but what am I driving at here? Okay. It ain't wrong to, to try something new, right? Like I said in my, uh, in one of my live streams, right? It ain't, uh, it ain't wrong to try something new. At least you now know that you, that Camera 5 Live isn't for vertical videos, all right? At least I now know and you now know that you should avoid Camera 5 Live if you're into vertical streaming or vertical, vertical videos, right? So for the sake of the phone tab diaries, I am not going to use Camera 5 Live again. Alright, so that's a tip for you guys. Avoid Camera File Live if you're into vertical videos. Especially this, the phone tab diaries. We're always vertical video here. I'm, uh, well, it's 8.35 a.m. right now, so I'm, I'm running a stream from Yu-Gi-Oh! everything, but uh, I'm making this video because I was, I was able to write down what I'm, uh, what I'm about to, what I'm about to share with you guys. <clears throat> so I remembered because I wrote it down, right? I read... Uh, some pages of his of, of Eric's of Eric Worre's book GoPro and something there was kind of profound for me it says well you make who you are you make the money that you you make the you make the kind of money that you are and something to that effect right well it's very true right personality equals income so let me explain this <clears throat> if you got a, um, if you got a positive personality, wherein you don't have any, you don't have any apprehensions, you don't have any fear in you whatsoever, or have any, well, what's it called this? Negative thinking. If you don't think negatively of yourself and of others, well, your income will tell you. If you deserve it, all right. If you got a shitty personality, right? If your personality is shitty, your income is also shitty. Don't expect your income to go higher. So income is based entirely on you. Okay? How you think of things, how you see the world, how you um, how you do business with others how you deal with others that's basically the concept of what i just said personality equals income right so if you want your income to increase if you want your income to go up fix yourself first don't complain of don't complain of what you're earning right now well i know well we're on lockdown there are other ways to earn. If you complain about the lockdown, not uh, the lockdown, that's why you're not. Kaya hindi ka, kaya hindi ka kumikita ngayon. You're blaming that. You're blaming this. You're blaming someone else. You're blaming something else. It's just, it just, you're just exhibiting your true personality. Okay. If your true personality is like that, don't expect your income to go up. It may even go lower. Alright? So, personality equals income. Develop yourself first before developing your income. So, <clears throat> let's put it in layman's terms. If you improve yourself, the money will follow. Now, <clears throat> let me get this off my chest, Muna. Uh, well, going back to the time I first heard uh, Billy Joel's music, right? It's through my dad, because he bought 
album ni Billy Joel noon it's called 52nd Street right? the 52nd Street album because uh, at that time uh, Billy had his um, Billy had his biggest hit to date at that time My Life okay so he bought an, so my dad bought a copy of that album and that's when I first heard it so yeah that's that's what opened the floodgates for me when it comes to rock and roll okay um, I thought we idol go na to <laughs> idol go na to okay. I was only um, about six years old yeah, six years old now okay. and well I'm I'll be turning 47 in a matter of days so up to now, Billy Joel is one of my idols when it comes to both uh, performing and songwriting. Right? <clears throat> we fans call Billy Joel the new chairman of the board. Okay. I say, well, it's been it's been two decades already since uh, and almost three decades na wala nung pumanaw si Frank Sinatra, okay, the original chairman of the board. So there was no air. So right now, um, Billy, jo- Billy was Billy's uh, on nostal on nostalgia performances. Is well, he's no longer releasing new material now. So he's now content with doing uh, doing nostalgia. Okay, going back to his old hits. But okay, na sa amin. <laughs> it's okay. My only wish right now is to is for is for me to see Billy Joel live. Okay? Hindi pa siya naka hindi pa siya pumunta dito sa Pilipinas. Okay? He ha, is yet to perform here in the Philippines. Sir Elton John is done it already. One night only nga lang <laughs> sa Araneta. I wasn't able to see that show, but I wish I would kung matuloy man si Billy Joel dito. I'm I'm going to make it a goal to see it. Right, I'm gonna make it a goal to see it. I've been a Billy Joel fan since 1979. All right, when the Second Street was released here, yung sumikot yung kanta My Life. Okay, it's one of it's now one of my now one of my all-time favorite songs. Okay, I think it's number one on my list right now. <laughs> it's number one up to now. It's it's still number one on my list. Um, he has influenced my my taste for music. All right, my taste for music and how, uh, and how, of course, how I do my singing. I used to I used to perform for two bands, so miss my singing technique and how, yeah, and how I look at life, right? Because his music is well reflective of uh, reflective of middle class life, okay, the the kind of life I grew up in. So, to you. To you, my good man, Billy Joel. Thank you for influencing my life, my taste for music, and of course my outlook on life. Again, thank you, Mr. Billy Joel. Thank you so much. I just been told by an influencer group that I can't tag their Instagram account. They said, well, it's only exclusive for members. I said, well, okay. Then I unfollowed them. You want to know why I unfollowed them? Well, their basic concept of exclusivity is totally bullshit. Tagging accounts is a public function. No copyright or patent office will accept an application for that. No one has the right to uh, claim exclusivity on tagging. So the next time you encounter an influencer group that says, well, members only ang tagging, don't join them for your own brand's sake. They're just, well, they're just self-serving. Morning guys, morning Reddit, JG here. 
And uh, it's my birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Black coffee. Now, <clears throat> I just, uh, well, yesterday, I was able to watch one of Alex Becker's videos. He was talking about the diet plan that, uh, that upped his health by 10 points. Well, kind of, uh, kind of made me recall that there is a, uh, that there's a very practical diet, very impractical diet plan to follow. All right, and that's what I call the negativity diet. Yes, yes, Reddit, negativity is a diet plan. Okay, you're going to lose weight in the wrong way. Okay, all you have to do is think negative thoughts, say negative things, and well, act negatively about everything. That's all. And sure enough, well, I don't know, I don't know the time frame for for this, but I am very sure you are going to lose weight. But here's the catch. You are going to lose weight, but you're going to feel stressed out, uh, depressed, and probably so, and probably, uh, and probably gain suicidal tendencies. Right? That's the catch. That's the, um, what you call this, the, um, the side effects of this diet plan, right? So, in this time of crisis, we're, we're all on lockdown, COVID-19 is um, practically running the show right now. You do not need to go to undergo a negativity diet plan. You, you don't you you cannot afford to to go through this kind of diet right any kind of diet plan will do after all well every nearly every single diet plan out there is good for your body except this the negativity diet all right so if I were you I would uh, Follow whatever diet plan you have now. Right? If you're if you're into keto and IF, good for you. <laughs> if you're into keto and IF, good for you. Paro tayo. Now, and of course, stay positive. Okay. A diet plan will not work if you don't uh, if you don't stay positive about it. All right. So well. Any diet plan you can follow this you can follow during this lockdown except the negativity diet. Right? Do not follow that diet plan. If you want to if you still want to come out uh, vibrant, healthy, and still with a uh, still with a good outlook on life. Strange but true. Negativity is a diet plan. I just saw a uh, well. I, I just saw. I just a, I just felt like uh, doing this entry on my own. The lockdown life is uh, slowly becoming the norm uh, amongst uh, amongst my countrymen and in the Philippines, particularly. As as, as actually, the lockdown life is now the norm. All across the world because of COVID-19 but the main advantage of having this lockdown life is you get to well you get to declog your life right because you're at home you're you're bored as fuck okay and you need to do something why not declog your life? Okay. Why, what do I mean by declogging your life? Well, number one, you gotta, you got to dig deep within yourself. 
as to how I should uh, how I should improve myself now how I should let go of uh, of all the of all the negativity that's around me and basically getting rid of all the bullshit in your life right if you've lived a um, if you've lived a carefree life before this lockdown started well I'm sad. Uh, I hate to tell it to you. I hate to break it to you, but congratulations. You just, you just started to. You just. I hope you're starting to declog your life right now. All right. It's basically getting rid of all the bullshit that has been around you and in you all this time. Okay. This lockdown is a perfect opportunity to do that you're on your own you're by yourself and there's no additional BS to go around well except if you're if you're living here in Barangay Pasito Man well the Barangay officials here are total bullshit alright <laughs> they're total bullshit here bullshit is a way of bullshit is a way of life because of them not but enough of that you have to declog your life now because it is the perfect time to do that once this lockdown is over you probably won't be able to do that or you don't have you don't have time anymore to do that because well once we once everyone emerges emerges from their lockdown from this lockdown they'll be completely different people they're better hopefully they're better versions of themselves they are well I'm very sure no one's gonna take any more BS from anyone after this lockdown is over so declog your life right now I wasn't supposed to uh, <laughs> to make a make a, make an entry today that's why I'm in a tank top I'm just in my tank top right now <clears throat> but um yeah I suddenly felt like it now I just saw uh, John and Nadia Melton's video about how to uh, prospect through social media because well it's a relevant one because all of us are on lockdown uh, COVID-19 running COVID-19 running the show with the uh, running the show the whole world running the show with the whole world so it's a perfect time to catch up on my well on my network marketing training so I saw their video and John Melton uh, call this uh, declared an acronym whip w h i p you know I got my I got my notes here <laughs> it stands for work ethic hunger integrity and personal power Whip. Sa Tagalog, latigo. Alright. Well, it's a, it's a nice acronym. And it's... <clears throat> those four... Those four behaviors are very essential in network marketing. Okay? If you ask me, those are very essential behaviors that... Uh, well, those are four... Basically, four behaviors that every market, every network marketer should have, even um, even influencers, right? Even influencers. Now, at one time, I also made up my own acronym, FLAP. Hope you still remember Advocacy Friday. I mentioned this in an episode. So, FLAP: fear, laziness, arrogance, and perfectionism. Right. Those are four behaviors. All, well, not just network marketers. All home-based entrepreneurs should avoid. All right now, whip. You should not avoid that. You should actually have those four positive behaviors. Okay, let's repeat. Whip. Work ethic, hunger, integrity, 
and personal power. Okay, so of course, well, work ethic, you have to work longer, you have to work longer hours, right? Don't just stick to the nine to your uh, don't just stick to the nine to five thing, all right? <clears throat> Only a third of your success will be done in eight hours, right? If you're willing to if you're willing to work longer hours, go work the longer hours, all right? Just don't just don't forget to put in uh, put in enough sleep, put in enough rest. Now for hunger, of course, well. It's like a basketball team. It's like uh, it's like a basketball championship. Whoever team is hungrier usually gets the title. Usually wins the championship. Ganon din dito sa network marketing or in any home-based business. The hungrier you are, the greater your chances of success. Right? You gotta. You have to outwork everybody. Hmm. That's ma That's the Mamba mentality by Kobe Bryant. All right. You have, you have to outwork everybody, okay? If you are hungry, you have to outwork everybody. Right? Integrity, of course. Integrity is not only required in business but also in life. Right? If you're not as good as your word, don't expect uh, anyone to help, you to, your to, help, to help you through your success. Integrity is very important. Well, it's, uh, it's like what my, my father always tell me. Di baling wala ka ng pera, basta may isang salita ka. Okay. And of course, personal power. You have to man up. Well, if you're a guy, you have to man up. You have to boss up. Okay, for for all genders. You got you have to boss up to your business. Always ask yourself, who wears the pants in your business? Okay? If you're never a marketer, you should ask that question yourself. Who wears the pants in your business? You or your company? Ba? Always posture up. Now, you would rather be a whip than a flap. Okay, of course, I've already mentioned my own acronym of flap. Flaps always have excuses. Whips, you rarely hear a single one from them. That's why they're successful. All right? So, you would rather be a flap than a... Sorry. Sorry. You would rather be a whip than a flap. 